Hello and welcome back everyone to City Skylines New Vooper where we're building an underwater city. Last time we built this river which actually functions as a fairy path as well. And someone said that instead of calling it Twitch Channel, which is a pun, naming it Twitch Stream would make more sense and still be a pun. So that's 10 out of 10. Now next up, someone asked me why I raised the land around the river rather than digging into the land. Uh, because that's technically how a river should be. Let me show you why. It beca because it's literally impossible. I mean, I, I can try my best, but I won't succeed. There's nothing to remove. It's at the bottom of the world. So, there you go. Um, what we're going to do this time, though, is we're going to build the infrastructure of the city. I mean, every building needs some very strong infrastructure, and... Um, this city is going to be absolutely massive. I mean, it's about the size of the rest of the city combined. So having functional highways and stuff is really important considering how often I don't have functional highways and stuff. Oh, thank God it's working. Okay. Okay. That's nice. That's nice having that working. Okay, let's just add like 25 distance between them. And that looks fantastic. Okay. Let's go ahead and begin. We're going to raise it up 24 so that things can go under the highway. And we're going to try to make this as smooth as possible. And I think actually going flat here would be kind of cool. And then... Ah, uh, come on. Oh, why are you being stubborn? Okay, well, we'll start it here. How about that? And then we'll go... Like this. We'll just do the actual bridge part later. Okay. This just really has to be a pretty simple highway that runs through and gets pretty good access to the majority of the uh, city. It doesn't have to be like the end-all be-all solution for getting people in because don't forget we have the monorail up here. We're going to have options for people to come down on the uh, ski lift things. It's going to be fantastic. So we, we don't have to worry about literally everything that could possibly go wrong just 98 percent of it oh i have to turn this off okay let's go ahead turn this highway around so that we can like leave even though it'd be funny if we trapped everyone into an underwater city that was impossible to leave until there was a tsunami uh, i don't think the majority of the citizens would actually like that and now we make it so that when you come through this tunnel area Hmm, yeah, I have actually have a little bit of a thought about that, but, you know, I'm not going to worry about it right now. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now we just have to do this. Bam. Bam. Oh, are you kidding me? It broke it. Of all the times, it could have broken something. Space already occupied. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Okay, it's got to be the, uh, thing under it. Yeah, okay. So, let's go figure out how we can, uh, since so we're going to just, okay, that was not the correct part of the node. Okay, still not. Oh, does it just move after? Oh, okay. There we go. There we go. Okay, let's see if that works. I'm giving it a little bit more leeway. Nope. Space already occupied. Okay, we're just going to temporarily go ahead and just delete that line. I'll fix it in a second. What? Oh, it's too close to the other bridge. It's, ju it's just going to complain about literally everything now, isn't it? Okay. I know that looks terrible, I know. It's just temporary to get this working. There we go, okay. Now we're just gonna move it back. 
We're gonna share that center column. Oh, that looks really nice! See, City Skylines, you shouldn't fight me whenever I try to build things. Because sometimes they actually come out well. Most of the time it ends in death. But sometimes. <laughs> sometimes it's a good thing. And I'm just gonna force that to go under there. Now what you're gonna say is, how could a fairy fit under that? And that's a that that's a fantastic point, actually. Which is why I'm gonna do this. And this. Does that kind of ruin the point of me not lifting them in the first place? Yeah, it does kind of ruin the point. But you know what? It's progress. <laughs> okay, well. Now we've got a way to go through the area. Um, so the question is, how are we going to get people onto this loop here? Are we even going to bother doing that loop there other than coming through these side areas? I'm not sure. How could we connect this safely without causing major issues? Maybe if we just do a simple off-ramp. That goes like this. Then a very simple on-ramp. That goes like this. That is terrible. Holy moly, who hired them? Okay, let's let's try that again. But not not that. Oh jeez. Okay, I, I see I see what's going on here. It's not going to allow me to do it without slight cheaty precautions. Okay. Now we just lower this, raise this, make it look somewhat somewhat even. Not not the worst. Um I get I guess we've got a way to go through. Hello Danny Games, I gave you money while you ignore. I did not see it, but thank you for the donation, Hello Dan Games. I greatly appreciate it. Uh I probably got the notification on the thing, but not on the Twitch chat because it's through uh Was it through Streamlabs? Because that would have made sense. If it's through Streamlabs, that's why I didn't see it. Eh, any support is support. Wow, what what beautiful words. <laughs> any support is support. Okay, so what I have to do now is make a way to uh, get over here. And this, these roads are just kind of nasty. I'm, wait, how high did I go up for that? 108 meters. Oh boy. Okay, uh, we're gonna lower this and we're gonna try our best to make it look nice. Okay, I connected it to the wrong one. I don't know how I managed to mess that up so badly. And I broke the actual thing. Wow. Isn't that extraordinary? I managed to mess that up in a way that was actually impressive. Okay, 108. Bam, straight to there. Okay, there we go. Now this one's coming down and onto the highway. Okay, so you just have to like hold your brakes when you go up there. And this one is kind of the opposite. You gotta like hope that your car has quite a bit of horsepower to be able to go up here. This is like the way for people with very, very nice cars. <laughs> because, uh... Not sure how a uh, normal car is going to be able to go up that steep incline all the way for like a mile, but that's okay. It's fine. Everything's okay. Um, there we go. So now we've got our way to get down and our way to get back up. I kind of wish we had this highway coming out somewhere else, but I can't really think of anywhere to jump it off. I mean, we could jump it off of here. 
You know what? I, I think it, it may actually make sense to make this do something instead of having this highway be like completely useless. Let's go ahead and see what we can do. If we bring this underground slash underwater here, why? Why, why did it do that? <laughs> I never understand some of the decisions this mod makes. Oh my... Oh my... Okay. It did that whole through the universe thing. That's... That is not good. That means that the entire thing is gonna be bugged. I already know what that means. Yep. Yep, okay. That is unfortunate, but it looks like we're going to have to, uh, do that separately. So let's try this. If we do this, and then curve it under 25, let's try this. Underground, and then like that, and then we remove that, turn that off, and then just go straight across. Yeah, that worked. That's in it. it. It always does that. I don't understand why the parallel tool does that. It completely breaks it. Okay, well... Unfortunately, that means we're gonna have to do this by hand. Um, and this is gonna be a pretty long one to do by hand. It's gonna go all the way through to here. Oh jeez. Okay. Actually, do we already have an underground high? Oh, actually, I'm dumb. Okay. I've got a plan that's even better than that plan. I have a better plan. Why doesn't that disappear? Now this refuses to disappear. Why does this mod have so many issues? <laughs> okay, um... Great. We scrapped some of the underground highway, not all of it. And this part... This part is actually going to be super useful. The Hyperloop was scrapped, because it, it didn't work. Did not work at all. Here's the plan, we're gonna turn off Anarchy because that just leads to issues. We're gonna turn on Ar Anarchy for just one second because otherwise this is all going to freak out. We're gonna bring it up to the edge of this. And then we're gonna do this. Which looks really terrible, but give me one moment. Ta-da! And now it looks half terrible, which isn't quite as bad. Nice. And then we can just raise this up to actually meet that. Great. This is going to have to be moved a little bit like this to make more room. Which means that this is going to have to curve like this to not look terrible. But that's okay as well. That's, that's also fine. Oh, it didn't build normal road underwater, did it? That kind of looks like normal road underwater, but it may just be a ton- oh, okay, that end of the tunnel. Oh, it did build normal road underwater. It did. I hate- I hate it when it does that. I really dislike when it does that. I did send a Blackberry picture. I 100% did. I fulfilled 
my obligation. Okay. Now I just have to do this, which is going to be pretty similar, but just as painful. And once again, it builds normal roads underwater, because why not? It's such a genius mod that totally knows what it's doing. So it is just going to continue being stupid. Ugh, it's like that Spongebob meme where it's like, is this underwater? Yes, so it should be a tunnel, correct? It's like, yeah, so let's make it a tunnel. No. <laughs> the game is just frustrating sometimes, okay? It just, it can't choose what it wants to do. So instead it just blows everything up. That, that was actually bad for a different reason. It just did not go above ground when I wanted it to. So we're going to try the same thing here. Uh, except here we're going to bring it above ground. There. Great. And now we're going to just pull... Okay, well, that's... That's a little aggressive there. Let's uh, do this first. Okay. I don't want this to look absolutely horrible. However, it's pretty stubborn. Where is that node? There it is. Okay. Let's not break the time-space continuum. And let's also not make it look absolute trash. Because this is only supposed to come out to, like, here... Okay, there we are. Now, after all of that effort, we have our highway. It goes into the city in two different areas, which are both actually pretty popular. So I think that this highway is actually going to probably get quite a bit of people. I mean, it would be kind of worth be it would be pretty worthless if nobody used it. Um, I hate that. Sometimes I build, like, massive traffic systems and literally nobody uses it, and it's like, what did I spend all of this time on? Why? But this time around, I think that, uh, the spot we chose using this here is actually great. Although, it's going to really mess up people who are using this highway, because before they could just go in a circle, and now, now they cannot. Now they cannot. But look at that! Our highway goes all the way through the underground area. There's only a tiny bit of uh, water overflowing. I don't even know where it's overflowing from. Probably right here, so... Oh! Not quite that strong. I just want to add a little bit of padding along the edge. Someone asked me, why don't you just delete the dam? Because I don't feel like deleting the dam. The river looks better when it's actually, like, full. This looks really nice how it is. It just has to be slightly tweaked. He thinks they will use the roads, but we all know they won't. Yeah, City Skylines traffic is pretty dumb. Is he streaming on YouTube? No. I mean, that would be pretty easy to check, though, honestly. Okay, guys. That is that. Now all we have to do is a few things. First off, the line we put here doesn't actually go anywhere. I know, how wacky. Um, we have these shipping lanes, which we completely destroyed one of, by the way. And the other one is half destroyed. Oh my god, why is there such a power issue? What the heck? Uh, oh. Oh. That'll help. Yay, we fixed it. Good job. Okay, um... 
we're gonna connect our thing over here to go up this area because I think yeah that's the quickest way I mean you could go around this way but that's just inefficient they're gonna loop here they're gonna loop just so that if we want to go in a circle we can without going all the way through the city um actually that's gonna be made a little bit challenging by the dam <laughs> he finally realized <laughs> yeah i did finally realize the dam is going to make this a little bit challenging so what we're gonna do is we're going to have to do a little bit of civil engineering um here's what we're gonna do we're gonna connect them both up here and then we're gonna create a slight spillway just for the boats can fairies go through these uh channels i'm hoping they can can they i mean that would make them way more useful yo okay great we're just gonna do this tiny tiny section here water required i think there is water pretty sure there's water okay great and we're gonna create this little channel which hopefully it won't destroy all the dams uh production But it's going to allow the uh, boats to get through without huge issues. Thank you, Joker, for the bits. There we go. There is our uh, boat way. Because there's no other way for us to do it. Make the boats go under the dam. I don't think that's a possibility. I also don't think that would be very safe. Yeah, the the amount of water coming in is much smaller uh, than the amount that can get through here. So it's going to be okay. This game needs lock systems for fairies. That's true. That, that would be a cool addition. But you know what? This works. At least I'm pretty sure it'll work. This is my super creative way to get the fairies across. You know, we don't want the fairies to get trampled by the big ships, but I guess there's no real way to prevent that. So... I guess that's the Coast Guard's job to prevent that from happening. Okay, nice! Not much else for us to do, honestly. Um, before we start adding, like, the super mega transit systems, there's nobody here yet, so we don't really have to add them. I think that what we're gonna do is to celebrate, we're gonna add the first little area. So for that, we're gonna add a heavy road, which is going to come through here. And it's just going to very calmly go through, and now we're going to have ways for the highway to go on. You can have four cargo ships at one port. Yeah, there's a few things about city skylines that are a little bit unrealistic. Can't think of any off the top of my head. Well, I think there's a few things. Beautiful intersection. Just, just absolute, absolute beauty right there. Uh, we're gonna just upgrade these to two lane because I realized that it'll have a little bit of an increased amount of people that can go through if they can go either uh 
right or left or straight. There we go. Very nice. And uh, let's go ahead and get the smaller area. I'll figure out your supporter rank. Don't worry, but currently streaming. Slightly busy. Okay, so we're going to go down like this. We're going to try our best to put the building somewhere that's not going to cause everything to flood. But it's going to get plenty of high value land. There we go. Uh, I'm just going to use, to go across here, I'm going to use some medium density roads. I don't want this uh, part of the city to be super congested and super packed. Uh, I just want it to be kind of simple, honestly, so that we can fit some nice stuff in it. I'm not going to go all out with the super heavy roads. I'm going to try to make it look a little bit nice. There we go. And then we can fit that there. I think we're going to do this. And then we're just going to close this off here. Because there isn't really space to add more. Okay. Nice. We've got our first little section. Let's go ahead and give them some water. We're going to make this... Uh, as efficient as possible by using the water from the river for this part of the city because I mean why not the twitch stream is literally where the water is going to come from for the people oh and actually I don't think this city... Oh, yeah. Bad call by me. I didn't actually uh, use heated pipes for anything. So we're just gonna swap these to heated pipes. Because we actually do make heat. I just never made it go anywhere. Like, the rest of the city does not use proper heating. Uh, but might as well start in these beautiful new sections. Um, actually, the turbine interchange is definitely the most superior thing in the game, just because I love them so much. They flow so smoothly. And I know some of you are going to be like, but they're so, they're, they're so, yeah, the turbine is big. You're right, but it works well. That's the thing. If it works well, I don't care how much space it takes up. Like, look at how well the traffic flows through these. It doesn't even slow down. It never stops. I mean, even in the super heavy parts of the city, there's no slowing down, ever. It just keeps going. Like, these are the most beautiful, beautiful interchanges. That's why I use them in all the most heavy-duty parts of the city. They are always able to carry the people through. Oh my god! The dam district is flooding. I've said that a few times in the past, but... It looks like people are creating a little bit too much sewage. Huh. That's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. Try not to die, guys. I'm I'm currently busy with something else. <laughs> oh, radio tower. We can fix that. Nice. Um, let's see if anyone actually moves in. I mean, we've got this beautiful new section ready to be cityfied. 
we're gonna give all of this beautiful riverfront property to residential. But of course, nobody's gonna move in because we have like no demand for anything in the city. Oh God, you see that? See how that breaks in the different LOD? I don't like that, so we're gonna fix that. Okay, that's better. Uh, another reason people may not go here is because of the lack of electricity, but guess what? We also make our own electricity. This is like the most self-sufficient area ever. It uses the ocean for everything it needs. Let's go ahead and give them a few other things they're going to need. We're going to need a fire department. Education, we're gonna need some elementary schools. A high school will probably be pretty useful. Police station is going to need to exist. Great. And now we just wait for people to move in. I guess tomorrow the majority of the city building down here starts, but this is a uh, this is certainly a start. It is a start to the underwater city. Look at that. So so innovative. Well guys, thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you've enjoyed. I will see you all next time, and don't forget that this series is just going to keep getting better. Bye! Hail Vuperia! Have a nice night. Beautiful.